Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the Bump in the Night book tag. Bump in the Night. Bump, bump. I was tagged by Reagan from Peru's Project. She's awesome. I will leave a link to her channel in the Don Bar and also a link to her video. So definitely go check her out because she's awesome and you need to be subscribed to her. So let's get on with this tag and let's... Let's answer some questions. Question number one, which are your favorite supernatural, horror, scary characters to read about? I'm leaning on the supernatural because I feel like there's just so much you can do with that. It's just exciting to read about and there's endless possibilities. So yes, supernatural it is. Question number two, which scene from any book would be your ultimate nightmare to be a part of? The Hunger Games in general would just be terrifying and heart-wrenching and I'd probably be the first one to die because I'd probably just fall to the ground and flail and cry. So, yeah. <laughs> Number three, if you could visit and explore any one scary or evil setting, which would you pick and why? This is a very good one. I'd probably pick the Forbidden Forest because I feel like that'd be scary to explore, but I like f exploring forests. Um, but then I also would really like to visit Miss Peregrine's home. Uh, for the peculiar children, because I love exploring abandoned places. I know that that's a little bit strange, but I do that quite often. If you've seen any of my Document Your Life videos, I've explored some pretty interesting places in some of those videos, so... Yeah, I'm a weirdo, I know. Question number four, which book was so frighteningly terrible that you almost fell asleep for eternity trying to finish it? For this one, I'm going to go with Exit Here by Jason Myers. Just didn't really like that book at all. I, I was frustrated with the writing style and the story itself was just very boring and dull, but for some reason I powered through it and finished it. I should have just given up on it when I realized how terrible it was. But I just I held on, held on for dear life. Number five, name one book you wish you could pull certain pages out of and swap for others to make it better. And for me, this one is going to be 10 by Gretchen McNeil. I was not a huge fan of this book. I was told it was gonna be super creepy and that I would be scared and it'd keep me up at night, but it didn't do that. Um, I was just very frustrated with it in general because I felt like it was a very cliche horror story and I just feel like it could have been so much better if uh, it had some different elements in it. So I would I would say that that book needs to grab some, some pages from some other really good books and pull them in, pull them inside and become better. What even? <laughs> Number six, if you could turn any bad or evil character good, which character would that be? Resnick from the Fifth Wave. Oh, he was just a dick. Let's just be honest. He was a dick. And there was no reason for him to be a dick because these children are already going through enough and he's just being a huge dick. Okay, now is the fire round, um, which you're supposed to do really fast, I think, but I'm, I'm probably not going to do it very fast. So number one is your favorite vampire character. And uh, <laughs> I haven't read very many vampire books. In fact, I think the only book that I read that had vampires in it was City of Bones, and it was like a group of vampires. I don't feel like there was one vampire that stood out to me or anything. I don't think they even had names. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've read the City of Bones book. It's in July, during Booktubeathon. Good times. Um, so yeah, I just say the vampires from City of Bones. Question number two, favorite werewolf character? And I'm gonna go with Remus Lupin, because Remus Lupin. Number three, favorite witch character? Hermione Granger. Number four, favorite monster character is, and I would have to say the goblins from the Spiderwick Chronicles. Favorite serial killer slash murderer character, and I can't think of any. I honestly cannot think of any right now. I mean, President Snow is technically a murderer because he's killing off kids, so we're gonna go with President Snow. I hate that guy. So yeah, that's the tag, and now I'm gonna tag some of you. So I'm gonna tag Little Book Owl, I'm gonna tag Bookadoodles, I'm gonna tag Bryson and Books, I'm gonna tag Jacob from the Eighth Potter. It's like I was tagging you. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Later!